Hello there. Hi. We are up uh, north in Skellefteå, Sweden, spending time with uh, with family. Yeah. And as you can see, there's uh, a lot of snow up here. And that's uh, exactly what this video is about. Yeah. Snow. And some activities. Yeah, five uh, winter activities you can do in the snow in Sweden. Yeah. Starting with uh, cross-country skiing. You remember how to cross-country ski? Yeah, I think so. I can try. Let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's do go. it. Yeah. Even though you haven't skied for for two years, I'd say you still got it. Thank you. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let's keep skiing some more. If you sign your name on a piece of paper here, you can win something from the local grocery store. But you have to ski at least three kilometers to compete. So every month they uh, pick a winner here and you can win some uh, ecological food from the local grocery store. Yeah, and hopefully this time it's me. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> As you can see, it's getting quite dark already. It's uh, half past two something. Yeah. The sun sets around half past one here. Mm. Good thing they have lights, yeah. so we can keep skiing. Yeah, let's keep up. Okay, so now that you have skied again, let me ask you a question. Okay. Visst är längskidor jättekul? Superbra för hälsa, både för hjärta och själ, och väldigt fräckt. It's okay. <laughs> And there you have it. From uh, two skis to uh, one uh, snowboard. Yeah, snowboard. Snowboarding, great fun. This winter, you're learning. Ja. So far so good, but it's um, too cold out here. It is quite cold out here, but we got the entire hill to ourselves. But, but we have to walk out by ourselves. Ah, uh, yeah, the bad thing is that the lift is closed, so we're yeah. walking by ourselves. But a uh, lot of space for you to practice. Yeah, so hopefully I can learn something. Yeah, because I'm quite a good teacher, right? Eh. Uh, okay, you're good. I'll take that. <laughs> Let's snowboard! So, third day, you can ride on your heel side, quite good. Yes, yes. But now the difficult part is to ride on your toe side. Yep. So let's practice toe side. Yes! Woo! Yeah! You see the turn? I did. Yeah! Good. I think she's uh, starting to get it now. Connecting turns. Quite okay. Sometimes she does a unintentional uh, 180, but that's uh, that's cool. We're gonna keep practicing here a bit, and then uh, tomorrow or in a few days we're gonna practice taking the lifts. That's difficult. Number uh, three: playing with dogs in the snow. Come, on, Frankie. Corp. See, corp. So, Frankie. See. High five. Four, two, three, two. A tohanna.
You saw? What are they doing? Frankie, the crazy dog with the white fur, Frankie. just want to play with his buddy Easton. Not with us. Hey, Easton. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no camera. Hey, Easton. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Why are you hiding? Hey, Easton. <laughs> hey. Fun fact in Schleftio, they have over 10 outside ice rinks in just the central parts of the city. And we're on one of them today doing some ice skating on what usually is a running track but in the winter time it's an ice rink since the sun is kind of low throughout the day this is the only spot on the entire rink that has uh, sunshine and that's why we're up here yeah. oh. Oh. now the sun is behind a building so uh, no more sun yeah. let's ice skate Yeah, when it's really cold, you can go into the Värmestuga heated cabin and you can get your feet warm and your hands warm and then when you're ready, you can head out and skate some more. As you can see now, we have changed to a more proper hockey rink and we're gonna have a little competition, see you can do one lap on the rink the quickest. You want to go first? You don't have to. You tell me when I start. Three, two, one, start. Redo. Three, two, one. Sure. What in hell, Vette? Activity number five, åka spark. A spark or a kick sled is an old type of Nordic transportation. And it's a customary that the woman drives the sled and that the man just sits down and takes it easy. So that's what I'm doing. Good for you. It's quite nice. <laughs> Hey på er. This is a, a kick sled in a Swedish spark because uh, att sparka means to, to kick and that's how you use this thing. Uh, it has a metal and wooden frame. 
quite a good quality kick, if I would say it myself. And it has metal runners, and basically how you use it is you put one foot, left or, or right, on one of the runners, and then you kick. Kick sleds are quite old, from the 19th century, and they're quite common in Finland, Norway and Sweden. And as you can see, they're quite good on ice or on hard-packed snow. Vänta på mig då! Hallå! How do you feel? I feel like a king. Yeah, good. Jaha, so that's uh, five winter activities that you can do in the snow or on the ice. Yeah, and of course, to any of these five activities, you can always have a Swedish fika. Skål på er! <laughs> ja, då sparkar vi hem då. Vad kan det bli sig i här?